This generator has been sitting outside since we moved here, anyway. Never fails, man. It's awesome rig. It owes me nothing. See what I mean? So this is where we're at with the project now. The big push is over. Kept getting storm after storm, trying to get the darn roof enclosed. <sighs> then finally, I start putting the metal roofing on. <sighs> my buddy Mark comes over, kind of saves my ass, really. Because the two of us worked all day long on getting this buttoned up and the next day we got more snow and freezing rain and if I was trying to accomplish it by myself I wouldn't have gotten it done no. <laughs> worked out good though we got it covered up so I'll show you what we've accomplished in the last video I said that I was gonna put the glass wrench door here my original plan was just to do the panels here, like I had on the front. And then I was given the door and I was considering putting that in. It's kind of on the fence with it, because it's a really nice door. And I, I kind of hate to use it in this application because, I don't know, one of these days I'll probably build another camp <laughs> and I'll put it in that. So, it was really easier for me to stick to plan A and do the panels. And I like the way it looks because it ties the two walls together. Yep. And these things are pretty decent. We used the Sun Tough panels here. Went up real easy. The stuff cut real easy. Pretty easy. <laughs> so I've never worked with them before. We'll see how it works out. But what I like about it is if I find out that they're really not suiting my needs and I want something better, you just unscrew it, <laughs> you know? <laughs> Back all the screws out and put something else up. But for now, it did the job, we got the building covered. I still gotta enclose my soffits here. I get this enclosed to keep the cold air from going up in there. But this is pretty good. I like it. Now, now, right now the sun is pretty low in the sky, but a few more months, we'll be right up there. This will be in full sun all day long. Yeah, really looking forward to putting it into action. So here, I'm just going to build a set of double doors that open out with clear material and then I'm just going to put another clear panel up there. Somewhere around here the chicken coop's going to come out, shed roof coming down, it's going to be 12 foot, it's going to be like a 6 foot pen and then the 6 by 8 coop. And when the sun comes up over here, the birds will get the first of the daylight. And they always like that. Yep. Come on in. So there's that glass door. But I'm going to use that someplace else. Mama's already starting to get some plant pots in here. <laughs> so I've got to enclose up there so the heat that's generated in the greenhouse doesn't just go up there. So I'm going to enclose that. Enclose the soffits like I said. So I want to get all of this enclosed with some styrofoam. Okay. And then I'm going to fill this with crushed stone. Some good clean crushed stone. 
I think that's what I'm going to do. And I would think that that stone would heat up when this building is being heated, whether it's by the wood stove or from the sun. But that will make a nice floor in here, and I don't got to worry about when we're watering plants and that sort of thing. Yeah. But it's really nice. Nice size room. I think this is going to serve us really well. So there's still a lot of work to do in here, but the big push is over, okay? It can snow and freezing rain and all of that can come down. I don't have to worry about it. In fact, there's a storm coming on Sunday. Yeah. So I'll show you inside. So I'm going to start insulating in here this week. I have a pull down stair unit that comes down. I got a lot of nice storage up there. Right now, all the insulation that's going to go in here is stashed away up there. Yeah. So, I think what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to have a small workbench here, and then another one along this wall over here. I'll have a nice workbench, the full length of this wall have the light coming in on top of everything. The wood stove will probably go in this corner. Chimney going out. I'm not having the chimney go straight up and I'll explain why in another video. Yeah. I got plans to recycle the heat that goes into the chimney. So it's going to be a nice size, nice size shop for me. I didn't want anything too big just wanted a little place to come and tinker on things, sharpen my chainsaws and stuff like that. And this will be a good spot for me to come and do some filming too. Do some little shop episodes. And uh, looking forward to that. So the big push is over. Things are slowing back down. I got a lot of footage I need to edit. Get back to it. Because I just haven't had time to do the videos. But now, like I said, things are slowing back down now. I'm really happy to have this enclosed. Yeah. So, so far, so good. Yep. It's going to be a nice room. And then when I'm all done working in here, I'll cut this plastic away and my floor will be nice and clean. Yeah. So the project went together good. Everything fit together like it should. I think it's going to serve us well. Really looking forward to having a garden again. It's been like three years now without one. <laughs> That's way too long. We went from having the best gardens of our life to no garden at all. But you just couldn't have it here. It was too heavily forested. But you watched us, we just kept moving forward, taking some trees out, pulling the stumps, getting some ground ready for gardening out there, and now look how far we've come. Uh, we've got the greenhouse and it's enclosed, and good thing because there's 14 inches of snow on the way starting today. Yeah. yeah. So, I uh, just wanted to give you a little bit, a little update, and um, we're going to head out to town today, uh, pick up a few last-minute items before the storm sets in, because I have a feeling our vehicles will be going to be going down the mountain for the last time. And we'll be back right back to where we were last winter with just snowmobile and ATV access up to the cabin. But it, it adds a lot of adventure to our lifestyle, you know. <laughs> so anyway... Um, there's been a, lots of folks sending well wishes and prayers and everything for my surgery that was scheduled for December 4th. Well, that has been pushed out once again because I had that other issue there where they were going to cut my ear and move it forward and remove some bone and go in there and remove something. The surgery that was scheduled on the 4th is for down here. But I had that other issue up here. We did a procedure on that, I don't know, last summer or whenever it was. And it hasn't gone well. 
So things are deteriorating there, and we have to address this first. Because I've been getting a, really lots of pain. It's given me a lot of issues. So the surgery has been pushed out again. We got to take care of this first. So um, we're back to scans and MRIs and all that garbage once again. No, oh well. But aside from that, everything's good. We are ready for winter. We got all our wood. We got that building enclosed. Uh, every everything. We are ready for it. So let it snow. Yeah. So now that the big push is over, uh, hopefully I can get back to making videos uh, on a regular basis once again. I just needed to pull away from, from that. I had other priorities, but as you can see, we made good progress. And now uh, I'm just, just I'm thrilled that that building is enclosed and we are ready to move forward with it. So um, I'll probably start insulating that this week get the other door on, uh, enclose the soffits, just peck away at it a little at a time. Yeah, really looking forward to it. So, uh, you won't have this video this morning <laughs> because I'm still filming. <laughs> but when this is over with, I'm going to get this edited, fit into my little project here, and then We'll stop in town and get it uploaded for you. So you'll have it sometime this afternoon. Alrighty, folks. So probably have another update for you next week. And uh, I hope you all enjoyed your Thanksgiving. All the best to you. God bless. Frank and the boss out walking in the woods Living life happy and free Tracks in the snow everywhere they go There's a pokey way up in that tree A beaver built a pond where they have some fun Taking life a day at a time Best friends until the end Frankie and the boss Frankie and the boss Frankie and the boss